Oh, it's a Fender. I'm totally ripping this off from Robert Baker. Woo! Sorry, Robert. Let's open it up. Ooh, there it is. That sounded pretty good. Tellies are just for country music, and we all know that. And I just proved it in that intro. Mm -hmm. Psh! How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. This is a new telly. This is my latest. This is a Fender Player Series Telecaster in Butterscotch Blonde. So let's get going with this video. Um, I'm going to break this video up into a few parts. So maybe I'll put some little graphics up here. You'll know what's going on. We'll talk about the delivery and the setup, how I got this, a little bit of story about it. Uh, we'll move on to the specs of the guitar, tones. You'll hear some tones and then a sum up what I think about this guitar. Let's get right into the delivery and setup. So I have always been a huge fan of Telecasters. Uh, in the past few years, I wanted to get a Butterscotch Telecaster. I already own a Pro Tele uh, Deluxe Shawbucker. So I didn't really want to get another one of those. And I'd heard good things about the Player Series. So I wanted to check it out. These came out in 2018. So this is a 2018 model. I got this one on Amazon, online. And I was hesitant to do that, but I'll tell you why I did go ahead and do that. I went to go buy this exact guitar, well, this exact model in a local music store. They had one that was brand new, still sealed in the box. They pulled it out of the back. Um, everything looked good. I went to go plug it in and the back, this part right here on the back was damaged. It looked like it had been dropped. The paint was chipped away. The uh, finish was, was chipped away. It was right to the wood. And that was a brand new guitar in a sealed box and the box had no damage. So I ended up not taking that one. They only had one. It was the only one in stock in Canada at that chain. And so I looked online, amazon.ca had the same one for about 15 bucks less. I had a gift card to use as well. So I, I thought, you know what? I'll just, I'll do it. I'll get one online. And it took about a week to arrive. It was out of stock um, in Canada. They had to ship it from, it looks like it shipped from California to Calgary, to Ottawa, where, where I am. Then it arrived to me, out of the box. Well, I did an unboxing video, a live stream of that. Uh, it wasn't in tune at all. The only thing I had to adjust so far was the neck. It was bowed a little bit. I had to give it a couple, I gave it two quarter turns. And that's not unexpected. It traveled from somewhere in the US, right? I'm guessing California, originally Mexico, then to California, then to Calgary, and then to Ottawa. And this was about a month ago. Was it three, a month ago? Yeah, roughly a month ago. So it went through different climates. And uh, in Canada, we were still in the middle of winter. It's uh, a little bit nicer now. So that was not unexpected though. But I guess, you know, if you're not comfortable doing neck adjustments, that might be one reason not to buy it online. I don't know. I'm, I'm good with doing that kind of stuff. So I was okay with that. So no big deal. Let's move on to the specs of the guitar. <music>
going back a little bit again, why did I pick this? Of all the Fender guitars, I think the Mexican line, so even going back to the uh, Standard Series, which has been replaced by the Player Series, I think they're Fender's best value for a guitar. What I mean by that is my first uh, Telecaster was a Made in Mexico 2004. I was able to gig with that. It didn't need any upgrades. I did end up modding it because I wanted to do different pickups and get different tones, but it didn't need it. So I think that's what's, I think that's what's great about this line. It's solid, the hardware is great, and you're paying, well, to give you an example, this guitar, if it was an American Pro Tele, be 1900 US, uh, sorry, be 1900 Canadian, this is around 900 Canadian after tax and everything. So you're paying less than half. So just to sum it up again, I love this guitar. I love Fender's Made in Mexico line in general. I have three, they've all been great. Um, so pros, great fit and finish. Uh, you don't need to upgrade the parts. Very comparable to the US model. Some things, you know, obviously they've done a little bit better on the US model. The neck has a rolled edge on the US model. The pickups are different, but hardware wise, it's pretty close. Uh, cons out of the box. Not too many cons, honestly, out of the box. And this might not apply to somewhere that doesn't have a cold climate. It, the neck had too much relief and I had to intonate it a little bit because I had to adjust the neck. So that's not a big deal. To me, that's not a real big con. The guitar wasn't damaged, it, it worked fine. These guitars are awesome. That's gonna do it. So again, this is a Fender Telecaster Player Series Butterscotch Blonde. I wasn't originally a fan of Butterscotch Blonde years ago until I kind of discovered the history of Telecasters and realized that this is the original style that uh, the first Telecasters were designed with. So I kind of got more of an appreciation, I guess, for the original vintage style, and that's going to do it. All right, I'm Landon. This is Lando 27 Music. As always, play guitar and have fun. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.